I'm gonna sprawl, I mean, you know, jam my hips, try to sprawl as much as I can. We're gonna assume that he got a good grip of my legs, so like, I didn't really get to get a complete sprawl, right? And if I stay here long enough, he's gonna finish. So if I get stuck here, then I'm gonna switch, boom, get my Kimura. All right. And now I'm in a good finishing position here. I can finish my Kimura right here. If he managed to roll through, back into that same TV position, right? So it's important with, whenever we use this Kimura to defend shots, I always go towards a wrestling defense first. The mistake people make sometimes is they try to go right here off the get-go, but you're gonna get run over, and then you're not gonna be in a good position to use it, okay? So I need to stop that forward momentum. So he shoots hips, I'm trying to stop the head, but he's still on his knees here, I didn't get him to fall over. All right, I'm gonna go towards the arm that's closest to me. I'm not trying to, trying to reach across this way, I'm gonna come here. And my hip check is gonna help that. If my hips are square, there's no space here for me to get my arm in. But when I blade my hips, I've created a little pocket now. Whoop. So it makes it easy to snatch up. Once I have this, it's kinda, it's kinda similar to what we just did, where I'm gonna go on one leg and throw my leg over his back, okay? Now my goal here is I wanna to try to turn as far to my left as I can. All right, you see right now I'm on my right hip. I'm gonna use my left foot to hip escape. Boom. And you can see as I turn to my left hip, he starts to lower down more. Because what's happening is I'm putting a lot of pressure with my elbow on top of his shoulder, right? I, if he's sitting upright very tall here, this is a much harder position to finish. And normally when you see this, this guy starts to posture out of it. Yeah, exactly, he starts ripping and then he could get me in a reverse Kimura on the way up. So when I fall, I'm trying to dig my left elbow into his shoulder here and on my left hip. If he tries to posture up from here, very difficult. Now my grip, again, no thumbs, I'm using two hooks and I want to do what I call a motorcycle grip, which is rather than being here, I roll my wrist. Okay, this is gonna make it harder for him to punch his arm out, okay? My left elbow tight to his shoulder, his elbow tight to my chest, and then I just rotate and bring his hand towards the back of his head for the finish, okay? If he does straighten his arm out, okay, don't try to crank him here, all right? Sometimes people try to rotate, but then you're gonna allow him to swim. So if he straightens his arm out, focus on bending the arm first, and then I go back to try to crank it. All right, if you try to do both, he tends to swim, okay? Now, this leg here is meant to keep his hips down so he doesn't roll through. But with the double leg, there's a lot of forward drop, so there's a good chance he could roll through. If he does roll through, go ahead, boom. I could follow him up, get back to that same side, Kimura finish, or I could just scoop my hips in and get back to that TV position, okay? One thing, important to note, when you're doing this, for the partner, make sure that he posts, all right? Because if I was doing this full speed, right? We're not doing full, but if I went here and I went right into it, you see how his head's going right into the floor. If, he's, if you were stubborn on that double leg, his head's gonna pile drive right into the mat. Okay, so when you're drilling this, that's why I was going kind of slower, make sure that as a partner, you break fall there. Otherwise, you're gonna jam your head into the mat. <laughs> Any questions? Let's do it on three, right? right. Yeah, no, that's fine. So he shoots, jam my hips, stuff the head, I get stuck, boom, lock my Kimura here, I'm gonna put all my weight with my left leg. Come here. Try to finish on my left hip. Elbow down, chest tight. Catch there. Cool, no problem. Let's do it on three. Ready, one, two, three. Whoop. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you wanna get more videos like this on a daily basis, Go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today.
So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.